I woke up this morning to this view. I had left Vancouver about 10 or 11 o'clock at night and drove basically until I got here. I probably arrived about two or three o'clock in the morning. Obviously it was pitch black and um, I just simply picked a spot to park. A, a rest stop about 17 miles north of Hope, BC. It's called Hope Landslide Rest Stop. Strangely, I woke up this morning. I've been here before, and I have, I have at least recently I've been here before, and I haven't had the same kind of thought pattern. I just stopped and ran, essentially went to the washroom and uh, took off. I never really had any thoughts about this place. But today, I remember driving with my parents when I was maybe 10 years old or something, just before this landslide. I remember driving with my parents and my brothers and sisters on the way to and from Penticton and uh, driving about 100 feet below all of these rocks. So this visit, I kind of saw this rest stop as a bit of a memorial and it reminded me of how this valley had looked prior to that mountain sliding down into the valley. So I left it with a reminder to live every moment or every take advantage of every opportunity because, you know, one day you just might get buried, buried in all your busyness and all that other stuff that keeps you tied to one spot, tied to whatever your lifestyle might be at the moment. All that stuff that loads you down, I'm leaving it. I'm getting on the highway and I'm going to drive down that road and in a moment I'm going to step on the gas. Exactly what your life will look like if you look back at it and haven't really made or done the things that you want to do. In reality, you've really not accomplished or done anything, not experienced anything, but life passing you by like a jet plane. Because you don't stop and you don't try new things or new places. Well, it's close to 11 o'clock and uh, I have driven until I felt like I was going to fall asleep, so I pulled over, climbed into my bed and went to sleep to have a nap. So I've been sleeping in a beautiful spot like this, nice lake behind me, lots of traffic, but I slept well. And uh, look, it's beautiful. I just pulled over at the first place that I could. I'm going to turn the camera around, show you what it looks like. sound we're not going to be using my voice too much in these videos this bit of the video because the traffic noise is really bad every once in a while we'll see how it comes out in the edit so I'm just looking at the flowers and stuff 
but uh, as soon as I, while I was sleeping, I kept hearing noises. I think I kept hearing cheers every time these guys caught a fish. A friend named Chrome, some of you know, who says he doesn't like fishing. But I bet if he was fishing like these guys, he'd probably enjoy it. Well, I have no fishing license, but I have the fishing gear. I would go out and join them. I think it's, I think there is probably fish there. It's pretty unusual to see six grown men fishing in a lake that has no fish. I mean, they might like drinking beer, but I'm sure there's fish in that pond. For those of you who want to come fishing, the lake's called Yellow Lake, and it's about 30 miles uh, southwest of Penticton. It's also a beautiful spot to picnic. Might even be a good overnighter location. So this lake on the right is today's destination. This is Skaha Lake. It's at the south end or west end of Penticton. arrived in Penticton at Skaha Beach, there is a bunch of motorhome parks and camping sites. And all of those people will be sharing this beautiful beach. My destination is Skaha Park. It's a place I can park my bus very close to the beach, hang out, picnic, do what I want, get shade, get Wi-Fi, and be hanging out very close to another sandy beach, usually full of families. I tried parking in this little narrow spot I almost made it, but I ended up having to leave. I went outside to read that sign, which had been flipped upside down and turned around, said this spot's reserved, so it's not worth the effort to get into it. So a short distance from my bus is a beautiful beach and in Skaha Park. I just saw a sign, so I better mention where it is. This is Skaha Park. And uh, I just used the washroom. I'm about to turn the camera around to show you why I like this place. The water out there, I'm sitting down on a bench. Uh, the water out there is 
generally very warm which is why sometimes you'll see a lot of kids in there even before noon but it's a family beach it's a beach where there'd be a lot of kids come down and play with mom and dad down at the other end of the lake is a beach that's probably more for adults So they're making me some lunch or breakfast, whatever you call it. It'll be my first meal of the day. A hamburger and some french fries. They're a little bit pricey for a beach venue, but I want to eat. So I'm going to have somebody make it for me rather than leave the park and go to, you know, buy some food. I didn't buy any food. I didn't prepare before I came here. So. I'm, uh, I basically got an empty bus, unprepared, but I'm here, and I'm here a day early, so I'm really happy about that. It actually is a pretty good hamburger. I'm quite surprised. Not sure about the quality or quantity of patty, but the rest of the burger is pretty good. It's very tasty. They have a, um, garlic flavored bun that they provide. So this is good. Delicious in fact. enjoyed my trip from Hope to Penticton, give it a thumbs up. You guys get a thumbs up for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. You could be doing a lot of things besides sitting around watching uh, YouTube and see what I'm up to, but I'm very happy you do. Uh, I need more subscribers. If you're not, if you're watching my videos and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It's just a matter of pushing a button. Uh, I do have an awful lot of people that talk to me every, like every day people come to me and say, I've watched your videos. And I went, well, did you subscribe? And they go, no. And I'm like, well, why not? It's nothing. It's just pushing a button. And all that happens, so somebody said, well, I don't know what happens when I subscribe. Well, when you subscribe, uh, you will be notified that I made another video. And you can watch it or not. So it doesn't mean anything other than uh, you will be notified via your means, your selected means of notification. But it means that when you go into your, uh, to watch YouTube, you can push a button called subscribe, subscribers, and then you start to see the list of people that you subscribe to. So you can catch up on them if you like. Anyway, thumbs up to you for watching. I'm going to try and have a nap because I still am tired and um, probably because three, four hours sleep is not enough for an old man. I am going to then go out this afternoon after my nap. Motorcycles are so awesome. <laughs> they show up no matter what park I go to, no matter where I am, whenever I sit down to do this uh, outro or whatever you call it a exit from my video whenever i get on here to say goodbye motorcycles go flying by anyway have a great day have a great night i'm going to uh, probably upload this now and maybe have another one for you tomorrow <laughs>